Preliminary English test. Listening. There are four parts to the test. You will hear each part twice. We will now stop for a moment. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at question one. One. What time does reception open? Hello. You are through to Dr. Andrews. I'm afraid we are now closed for the weekend, and we open again on Monday. If you have medicine or a note to collect, you can speak to a receptionist who will be able to assist you from eight thirty. I will be available to see patients from nine. If you can't come in, another doctor may be able to help you on the phone. She can be contacted from nine thirty, though may not be available if she's out visiting someone at home. Now listen again. Hello, you are through to Doctor Andrews. I'm afraid we are now closed for the weekend, and we open again on Monday. If you have medicine or a note to collect, you can speak to a receptionist who will be able to assist you from eight thirty. I will be available to see patients from nine. If you can't come in, another doctor may be able to help you on the phone. She can be contacted from nine thirty, though may not be available if she's out visiting someone at home. Two. When is the best month to plant the seeds? I was thinking of planting some of these flowers out next year, but I've never grown them before. Oh, they'll be lovely if you can time everything just right. I made the mistake of planting them out in January, but the ground was too wet. So a little later then. Definitely, it says you can start them in February on the packet. Personally, I don't think it's a bad idea to wait until March. The ground will be much drier then. Now listen again. I was thinking of planting some of these flowers out next year, but I've never grown them before. Oh, they'll be lovely if you can time everything just right. I made the mistake of planting them out in January, but the ground was too wet. So a little later then. Definitely, it says you can start them in February on the packet. Personally, I don't think it's a bad idea to wait until March. The ground will be much drier then. Three. Where did the man buy his shirt? You're looking very smart. I love your shirt. Thanks. Yes, I got it the other week. I'd seen one in that new shop in town and loved it. I tried it on and it was a perfect fit, but it was really expensive. I know, things in that shop aren't cheap. Anyway, I saw a similar one in the market at the weekend. It wasn't anywhere as nice quality, so I looked online and got this one. I'm really pleased with it. Now listen again. You're looking very smart. I love your shirt. Thanks. Yes, I got it the other week. I'd seen one in that new shop in town and loved it. I tried it on and it was a perfect fit, but it was really expensive. I know, things in that shop aren't cheap. Anyway, I saw a similar one in the market at the weekend. It wasn't anywhere as nice quality, so I looked online and got this one. I'm really pleased with it. Four. How much is one adult ticket to the football match? Turning now to football, and Mark phoned to ask about the cost of tickets for him and his thirteen-year-old son. Well, Mark, now would be a good time to book your ticket. The club are organising a family day and are offering tickets for four people at sixty pounds. If there are just the two of you, a single ticket is twenty-five pounds, and children under fourteen can get in for fifteen pounds. So, the question is. Are there any other family members you can persuade to join you, Mark? Now listen again. Turning now to football, 
and Mark phoned to ask about the cost of tickets for him and his 13-year-old son. Well, Mark, now would be a good time to book your ticket. The club are organising a family day and are offering tickets for four people at £60. If there are just the two of you, a single ticket is £25, and children under 14 can get in for £15. So, the question is, are there any other family members you can persuade to join you, Mark? 5. What is it that needs replacing? I'm going into town later. Did you say the iron wasn't working? I might get a new one. I thought there was something wrong with it, but it's okay. We did say we would get another microwave. Have you noticed the door doesn't shut properly? I know, but I can't carry one of them back home on my own. Let's look for one at the weekend. Okay. Hopefully, the kettle still works. Do you want a cup of tea? Now listen again. I'm going into town later. Did you say the iron wasn't working? I might get a new one. I thought there was something wrong with it, but it's okay. We did say we would get another microwave. Have you noticed the door doesn't shut properly? I know, but I can't carry one of them back home on my own. Let's look for one at the weekend. Okay. Hopefully, the kettle still works. Do you want a cup of tea? 6. Where does the man want his wife to come? Hiya, uh, just phoning to let you know we're having a lovely time. We spent the morning walking around the city centre. Jamie wanted to have a tour of the football stadium, but they only do those on Wednesdays, so I said we'd come back and do that another week. He wants you to come and meet us later, so I thought we could go and see a film together. I suggested the museum, but he didn't like that idea. Call me and let me know if you can come. Now listen again. Hiya, uh, just phoning to let you know we're having a lovely time. We spent the morning walking around the city centre. Jamie wanted to have a tour of the football stadium, but they only do those on Wednesdays, so I said we'd come back and do that another week. He wants you to come and meet us later, so I thought we could go and see a film together. I suggested the museum, but he didn't like that idea. Call me and let me know if you can come. 7. When is Janine's birthday? Have you bought Janine's birthday present yet? No, not yet. We're seeing her on the 15th, aren't we? I'll give her the present then. Yes, we still have plenty of time. Are you going to her party? Oh, I've told her I can't go. It's on the 16th and I'm away at a conference that weekend. Still, I'll give her a call on her birthday. Yes, that's the 13th. I've arranged to see her, so I'll send her your love. Now listen again. Have you bought Janine's birthday present yet? No, not yet. We're seeing her on the 15th, aren't we? I'll give her the present then. Yes, we still have plenty of time. Are you going to her party? Oh, I've told her I can't go. It's on the 16th and I'm away at a conference that weekend. Still, I'll give her a call on her birthday. Yes, that's the 13th. I've arranged to see her, so I'll send her your love. That is the end of part one.